takes on a new dimension. Exposed in the walls of this stadium-sized crater are massive outcrops of layered rocks. Salt-rich rocks like those in Eagle Crater, but a much deeper slice of Martian history. There's meters of sulfates here. Okay, so a lot of water has to have gone away to leave that much salt behind. It's much more than we thought we were dealing with before. Opportunity spent six months inside Endurance Crater, working out the details of the water story at Meridiani, which may span hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. And then there's Spirit, the long-distance traveler. On Sol 156, it's at the base of the Columbia Hills. 70 meters up is an outcrop of bedrock, the first they've seen in Guseb Crater. But it will be a tough climb. This is one beat up vehicle. This thing has traveled for three kilometers. It's coated with dust. Uh, we got a gimpy wheel. You know, that front right wheel is hurting. Um, if it was a fresh vehicle, I'd say, yeah, we could climb this, this hill. As it is, it's gonna be a struggle. A month later, Spirit has beaten the odds and become the first mountain climber on Mars. And it's here that the rover finally gets lucky. Orbital maps suggest this bedrock is older than the floor of Gusev Crater and possibly older than any lake it may once have held. But the instruments detect Gertite, an iron mineral that can form only in the presence of water. This may prove to be a different water story than the one Spirit was looking for. In any case, it will add a new dimension to our picture of Mars. At Gusev, we get two different pictures. The rocks in the Columbia Hills can tell us something about very early events in Martian history. They also tell us that in the last three billion years or so, not much has happened. It's been cold, it's been dry, it's been quiet. Meridiani, wonderfully enough, fits into the interval between those things. So the whole history of Mars isn't this place or that place. They both show us a real Mars at different times in its history. Days grow short as the Martian winter closes in. Solar energy fades and the rovers are slowly starved for power. How much longer they'll last, no one knows. There will be a, a, a deep sadness, I think, when they're gone. But when they do finally die, um, it'll be an honorable death, you know? Look at what they've accomplished, it's so much more than we expected from these vehicles. And uh, it'll be a rough day, but um, I think we'll be able to, to look with pride on what they've done. If life took hold on Mars as it did on Earth long ago, chances are it's happened other places too. Spirit and opportunity have opened our eyes to a new world and moved us a step closer to answering the question, are we alone? Next time on Nova, once hailed as the missing link. He's not African, he's not German, he's British. The greatest discovery of the 20th century turned into one of the biggest frauds in science. The public was scandalized. Who was behind it? The boldest hoax. On Nova's website, join Steve Squires as he leads you on a visual tour of the Red Planet and relive the greatest discoveries made by Spirit and Opportunity. Find it on PBS.org.
To order this show or any other Nova program for $19.95 plus shipping and handling, call WGBH Boston Video at 1-800-255-9424. Nova is a production of WGBH.